people welcome back to this channel thank you thank you for clicking into this video guys in today's video and before i start this video sorry before i start this video i want to appreciate my returning subscribers and thank you so much for always watching my content and my returning viewers guys thank you so much but remember to subscribe if you are new here karibu sana in today's video as the title suggests guys i want to share with you on uh, things that I no longer buy but guys as you know in this channel we are all about tips we are all about hacks we are all about saving some money out of our normal budget so that we can at least fit in the economy guys in today's video the what I want to share with you are things that even you you can practice doing and also save some cash let's get into number one things that I no longer buy. Number one, as you can see, my hair is shaved, but doesn't mean that I don't have people who still make their hair in my house. What we did is I bought a blow dry, which we always do blow dry at home. And we also bought like hair care detergents, like the shampoo, the conditioners, and uh, also the treatment. And what we do after washing, washing is being done at home, blow dry is being done at home. And the main thing, guys, which is plating their hair or plating your hair, we have a salonist who always come at home, which is very cheap, guys, rather than going to the salon. This is something you can save. If you have kids who go to school, guys, this is something that you can uh, look into and save. I no longer do that. Let's go to number two. Number two is uh, uh, number two, guys. I no longer buy pillows and throw pillows and anything to do with pillow. Anything to do with pillow. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like this. I no longer buy that one because I realize that I can buy my own fiber and still make my throw pillows and my pillows at home. Fiber goes for like, uh, I don't know, it depends with the areas, but fiber where I am right now, uh, fiber goes for 354 kgs. If you buy 5 kgs, it's uh, like 1500 shillings, guys. And you get to make your pillows and also the uh, throw pillows, guys. Is that not a hack? Is that not a saving money tip, guys? Number three. Number three, we no longer buy snacks e.g. breakfast snacks and different types of snacks because guys I've done a video I'm sorry guys the two things that I've mentioned I have their videos and I'll be up I'll be like pinning their video down so that you go and watch I have made pillows I have made pillows and I'll show you I, I'll pin down the video and I've also bought a blow dry and I've reviewed it so you can check on that video number three guys we no longer buy snacks we do make our own snacks like even breakfast snacks guys you can make bread i i do make uh, donuts i do make mandazis you can even make popcorns if you like you can even bake your bread you can even bake cakes guys and this is these are some things that you can bake even without an oven i've done several videos in uh, making my own snacks and even baking a cake and baking a cake was using a jiko. I'll pin it down so that you can go and watch it. Using a jiko, which means it's a charcoal stove. Baking a cake was using a charcoal stove, which I'll also pin down. And have done several, several recipes and several snacks, guys. Which, this is a hack. Because, guys, if you have kids, and kids tend to do, like, uh, like snacks. And even you, as an adult you like snacks during your morning breakfast this will help you guys this is something we no longer buy number four number four is yogurt guys i love yogurt personally and people also love yogurt i don't know if you love yogurt guys and if you love yogurt i'm giving you like two minutes kindly like this video comment in this video subscribe guys 
these are tips are these not like saving tips though i'm doing though they are applying to me but you can also apply to your households and save some cash let's go to number four which is yogurt i learned how to make my own yogurt and these days i make my own yogurt i don't buy yogurt in the supermarkets or in the nearby shops i don't do that so if you are someone who has kids and kids do love yogurts this is a tip and this is a hack and this is a saving tip or hack guys i do make my own yogurt i have a video which i did on the same pin it down there number five liquid detergent number five is liquid detergent guys liquid detergent is a multi-purpose liquid detergent which you can do everything with you can still wash your clothes with you can still wash your kitchen utensils you can still like do your household just like mopping and everything you can even wash your walls with if you want to wash your walls this is something that i've learned to make and i've been making it and i only spend 300 shillings for 10 liters of liquid detergent of multi-purpose liquid detergent is that not a hack guys is that not a hack and a saving tip guys i do that and that really saves me that really saves me and saves me cash you can also do that you can go to buy in your nearby kiosks so that you get that cleaning detergents ingredients and make your own liquid multi-purpose soap I have a video that I've done that also I will pin it down yes guys number five six guys number six I don't buy vegetables in the near in our estates or in the nearby kiosks I do not buy vegetables what I always do I love love going to the market guys I love going to the market because I know how it helps me it helps me save a lot Rather than buying something for 20 shillings or for 10 shillings at Mama Boga or at the kiosk, this really saves me a lot. I go twice or once a month so that I can go and buy my things bulky, my vegetables, my fruits, tomatoes, onions and everything. Then I come and see how I can store them so that they can help me in that period of that month. Guys, this is a hack and this is a tip, saving tip that can help you also do the same another thing that i don't buy also guys bleach or as you guys all know is a jig jig is a brand but that's the name that most of people like using i don't buy bleach because i've learned how to make my own bleach so i don't spend my money on buying bleach they're very expensive right now and what i do you will go to buy the ingredients ingredients are only 150 shillings for a 10 liter bottle bleach guys what are you waiting for these tips i know they have applied to me and they also apply to you too guys don't 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 hesitate to pick on this to tap on this so that you can save some money i do that i do buy 150 shillings the ingredients for making bleach or jig at the end of the day i have a 10 liter bleach or jig i do have a video on that the same down below yes guys have you subscribed if you're liking this video kindly do so another thing that i don't buy is disinfectant guys i learned how to make my own disinfectant and i do that it really helps me on roaches in a like in, in in my kitchen cleaning the countertops even when you have a microwave cleaning the microwave cleaning your um, your cooker and everything this will work wonderfully i learned how to make that and i can make even 10 liters 20 liters and everything this is a very simple hack that even the things that you'll make with you'll use the ingredients that you will use other things in your house I did the same video and below link below guys uh, I told you in this channel kindly if it's the first time you're getting this channel consider subscribing and consider joining the family so that each and every time I post new tips or I post my videos guys, you get to enjoy you get to learn we get to laugh we get to love thank you so much guys we are going for another one number 10 number 10 
is I no longer buy fabric softener because I learned how to make my own fabric softener so I do not buy my fabric softener. I've not done a video on that but it's coming soon and I'll pin it once I've done it guys. You also can learn how to make a fabric softener. Fabric softener for those who don't know fabric softener are like um, the one for downy, the one for so uh, star soft and everything. I can make my own fabric softener i learned how to make and this really helps me guys this is something that you can make at home and can save you a lot let's go to the next guys i don't always so buy toilet cleaners because i've learned how to make toilet cleaners if i know how to make toilet cleaner the so-called people call them happy and everything and i can make mine longer by toilet cleaner this is something you can also learn and save your money and save some little cash out of it guys toilet cleaners have been expensive these days and uh, guys they are untouchable but we need to keep our toilets clean that's an hack that i've given you guys am i not good making you learn some budget tips on top of it how you can make uh, these things and save some cash consider subscribing yes guys another thing that I do not buy or we do not buy we do not pay for lunches in schools or when we go to work I personally do not pay for lunch I, at my work space or at my kids school what we do is we buy bulky whenever uh, at the end of the month we do a bulk shopping and we prepare prepare packed lunch the only thing that we do is we make sure that we have containers that can contain that food and keep it hot up to lunch time so it's wrinkles right now in schools like uh, due to the high economy like lunches have been quite high if you have two kids three kids four kids it's like a hundred or a hundred and fifty but in our local schools so it's quite hectic and it's quite high so we no longer take uh, like um we no longer take food buy food at workplaces or at school we do carry packed lunch another thing guys also Another thing is about juices and sodas. I minimized uh, the juices because I can make my own juice. So I do make juice, then I preserve them in the fridge. They can be uh, taken whenever anyone needs juice. And we actually we actually cut it down on sodas because we spend a lot when we buy sodas than making our own juice. Another thing that I another thing and this is the last thing that we stopped buying or personally i stopped buying is or i stopped paying for is paying for dstv or go tv guys what uh we do is i pay for wi-fi which is zuko and it has everything so it saves because we need the internet more than we need the decoder and everything guys this is something that you can pick these are hacks these are budget tips these are like i don't know how i can call them all of them but guys i guess and i believe that i have opened someone's eyes and i have shown someone something that can help them save some cash as i had said when we were starting the economy stuff and we are looking for leeways just small small uh, options so that we can save some cash and also get to get quality and good things these are things you can make at home you can learn they've been done i have done them in my channel and the ones that i've not done i'll make sure i'll do them then i'll pin them down here guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for watching my content remember to subscribe adios till the next video